Hello, everybody. I'm gonna get in my chair. Hello, viewers. It's JJ Prince here. Um, well, today, first things first, I just wanted to let you know I got this t-shirt from a friend of mine. She's, um, her name is, uh, Rhiannon, or Rhi, and she is, uh, on a channel called Sing With Style. Link for that in the iCards. Um, and, uh, her channel hasn't, I don't think it's produced anything yet, but it should be producing things soon, so... Please subscribe to her if you want to see content from her. So, yes, I love this Captain America shirt. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to do something I would like to say a little out of the ordinary, but honestly, what's ordinary for me is really just randomness for everybody else. So, I, I'm doing a vlog for the song I'm going to do today because I always do a vlog. It's kind of become a tradition, even though night. Half the people who watch the original video watch the vlog. So, but anyway, today I'm doing a song called Make My Voice Heard. It is an original song that I wrote talking about the struggles of addiction. Like just addiction recovery and the struggles of addiction. Um, I'm not going to go into detail and please don't ask me to talk about it in the comments because I will not. But there was a time in my life in which I was semi-addicted to certain things. Um, and it was scary, honestly. So I've been through it, you know. I, it, wasn't, it wasn't just, it wasn't the obvious things that people think of when you think of addiction. But it was, it was still an addiction. And in reality, addiction is everywhere. You know, people can become addicted to Facebook. People can become addicted to video games. And most people don't consider those as as addictive as... I'm saying too many as's, but... As is... Okay. As addictive as drugs or pornography or alcohol. But it really can be because of its instantaneous accessibility. Facebook is... It's like things like Facebook and video games are almost shameless instantaneous accessibility. At least with pornography, you feel a little bit of guilt, but with Facebook, you can just sit there and go, I'm being a good person. I'm brightening people's lives by hitting like. I mean, it's the same thing with YouTube. I mean, like, this is, this can become an addiction. Some of you who may watch my videos may be addicted to YouTube. And if you are, then, I mean, I don't really know what to say, but it's just addiction is all around us in our lives. And this song it does focus a little more on the serious things, a little more on the more dangerous things. But in reality, addiction is still addiction, no matter how big or small, and it's still not good for our lives. So that's what I'm doing today. I This song was inspired by a fellow musical artist person, singer, songwriter. Um, her name is, uh, I don't want to butcher this, sorry if I do, uh, Nadia Christine, I believe that's how you say it. And she, um, is a, she got, she won second place in the December song contest with Peter Hans. She, um, she, uh, sang with too many uhs. I should probably, like, cut those out or something in post-editing, which I do not do. So you will be hearing all those uhs. Yay. All right. So she is, she, uh, is, um, she helps out with tons of different charities, tons of different organizations like Addiction Recovery. And she made this really inspirational and really beautiful song with um, Colby Farron called Hit Undo. And link to that in the iCards, as, with, as with, with almost anything I tell you guys about, I have a link in the iCards. Um, and she, just the thing that they, just the music that they created together and the message they shared was so powerful. And I just felt like I needed to join in on that, even though the Hit Undo song is... I don't know exactly if it was made in 2015 or 2016, but it's been a while since it got produced out there and made for everyone to see. So just go check that out because that it's just the message that we're trying to share. The message that I'm trying to share, the message they're trying, they are trying to share is that people are human. We're not robots. We're not perfect. We're not just pristine statues made to just stand there and look pretty throughout our whole lives. We have mistakes. We have problems. We can't deny that. But through all of our mistakes and all of our problems, there is a way to get out when we are stuck. I've been stuck before, many times, many different scenarios. And I and everyone else has a way to get out. You just need to find that way. 
Find things that make you happy. Turn to your religion. If you have a religion, I, I'm sorry to gush about Christianity, but my goodness, it is amazing. It, uh, and here I am gushing. But if you have a deity that you worship, if you have someone that you can go to, even someone in your life that you can go to, that brings you joy, then go to that person. Go to the places that bring you the pure joy that you can't experience anywhere else. Go to the places that bring you the joy that seems everlasting. Do things like service. That is one of the biggest joy creators that's everlasting. So, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I hope that you enjoy the video I'm going to make today. And I am very grateful for everybody's support with this channel. We're super close to hitting 60 subscribers, and I can't wait until we do, because it'll be just one more person to add, well, because we're at 59. It'll be one more person to add who can hear the stuff that I do on my channel and hopefully become uplifted and have a better life because of it. Maybe have a little fun, too. So, this has been JJ Prince, and I will see you all later.